Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Honey Beekeepers YouTube channel, your go-to destination for all things buzzing and beautiful in the world of bees. I'm Sasha, and I'm thrilled to be your guide today on this exciting hive inspection journey. Today, we're diving deep into one of our hives to check on our amazing honeybee colony. We'll learn about their health, habits, and maybe even spot the elusive queen bee. So, grab your bee suits and join me as we uncover the mysteries inside the hive. But before we open up the hive, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell, so you never miss an update from our channel. It's the best way to stay connected with our growing community of bee lovers. Alright, enough chit chat. Let's get suited up, light the smoker, and embark on this educational and awe-inspiring journey into the heart of our buzzing buddies. Hi honey beekeepers, thank you for joining us. I'm your host Dwayne Fuller and today we'll be inspecting this hive. Let's go! Now inspecting hives has its rewards, sometimes it has its challenges. Mm -hmm. Today we are preparing ourselves for the unexpected because I've not been in this hive for a long time. I need to see what's the state or the progress of the bees. Now it seems to me that most of the bees have gone foraging and that's good because that allows me to work without much interference. I want to do some work here to remove brush from around the hive. I'm removing underbrush so that toads and other pests are not able to climb up onto the protected areas. Keeping this area very there we go. It's a little better. So I'm allowing some smoke in the area that I'm about to inspect. Going from the back. on the ground for the time being. Okay. I'm inspecting the cover. See that there is no no problem here. Awesome. And now inspecting on the inside of this hive see what's happening Now, as I inspect the hive, I'll need my hive tool. This tool allows me to remove frames and to be able to check them. And as you have noticed, I've put only six frames in this hive. Usually, bees will build well, I've put six frames in the honey super of this hive. As you can see, there's no work that is being done in the honey super. All right, so I'm gonna remove this honey super altogether so that you may see, all right? So, first of all, I'm going to use my hive tool. I'm gonna to use my hive tool, and with a little assistance, a little pressure, 
I will lift this box and I'll rest it on the other side. Right here. Okay? Right? Now, I have a queen excluder here. I'm going to remove it. I'm also going to store this right here. Okay? Now, you should have a good view of what's happening on the inside of this brood chamber. Okay? Now, I can smell honey in this brood chamber. It means that the bees are definitely at work down here. I would love for them to work a little quicker, but of course they can only work at their own pace. All right. Now um, I can go ahead and do inspections, but for the time being, I'm satisfied that work is going on. Uh, I have not seen any high beetles. I have not seen any 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 pests to be concerned about. I've not seen any ants. Well, I saw one ant on the very top chamber. Well, that's it. It means that this colony at first glance seems healthy. So I'm going to work quickly now to remove the first or the eighth frame to see if any storage is taking place. Okay, so there's no storage taking place. And it means that the bees haven't gotten to that stage as yet. So I'm going to place this very close to the box where I can I get to it once I'm ready to return it to its place. I'm going to check the frame closest to it to see what is happening there. Alright, so building is taking place here. Alright, this is, and honey is being stored here, and so is pollen, which is customary. This is normal. Alright, so I see honey being stored in this frame. Honey and pollen being stored. You can see the pollen grains inside and the honey being stored alongside it. Alright, let's look at the very back. The same is being done at the very back. Okay? It means then that the colony is growing. Alright, so so far I've seen one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight frames, nine frames almost filled. And this is why there's no work being done in the top chamber because they are pretty much occupying themselves with the brood chamber all right and I want to have a strong colony so I take my time I just wait on the bees to do their job I tend not to harvest any honey from the brood chamber so that the population can be maintained and um, and it's time for me to do splits I know that if I remove bees, uh, I will not have to be concerned that the colony will die. Okay? Alright, so I'm going to take one more frame for you to observe. And I'm looking for the weakest frame here. I'm observing something. I'm wondering if the bees have somehow avoided using this frame for one reason or the other. And I'm going to remove it. Now, this is not the most ideal tool to remove frames. Uh, perhaps for another episode I will show you a tool that is very useful. Oh, here, honey is being stored here as well. And this is the sixth frame. Now why would they be storing honey? Alright, and here we have a predator. This is a hive beetle. Can you see it? Do you notice it? That's a pest. Okay. This hive beetle targets. Oh, and we are seeing something here. We are seeing queen cells. 
means that uh, so I have just killed the hive beetle okay killing hive beetles means that there's just one one less problem to deal with so I'm removing that now but notice there are queen cells one two three four five six queen cells which means that this this colony spawn, spawned means that they swarmed all right and that would explain why the population is a little bit less than i expected and that's fine this is how bees tend to uh, allow themselves to survive harsh conditions and uh, also ensure that they are able to overcome in the long run all right so I'm observing this and it means then that this colony that's left is just simply rebuilding okay I see a lot of honey store now I'm a little bit more curious let me so having looked at this I see honey here but it's not kept honey I am going to be taking the opportunity to check on the frame beside it right though no, this is an empty frame oh but there's honey being stored in this section all right so honey is on this section let's look at the frame here so the sign that is closest to the queen has honey being stored there right and each of these middle frames are full now I need to check for pollen uh, not pollen rather for larvae because if there's no larvae it tells me that there's no queen in this colony okay all right so I see honey being stored I see honey so here we go we have honey being stored again can you see honey being stored All right so let me remember to put these back in the way that they should be all right nobody complain now nobody complain all right Let's check this one for brood. Oh yes, here we have larvae. All right, so we have cells here. These are worker cells. We have larvae present, you see? And honey is being stored in the midst of it. Okay, all right. So I guess these bees are not as organized as I would want them to be. Okay. Alright, so this is rich honey being stored in the midst. Okay. And uh, we have larvae there. Okay. And we have another queen cell, it seems. Is this a queen cell? Yes, it is. Alright. Alright. So it means then that this colony may have suffered a catastrophic event. It has had forced it to make some quick decisions, all right? Or just that the survival instinct of this colony is a very strong one, all right? So I'm satisfied that the queen is here producing. I see fresh larvae and uh, I'm able now to close up. I'm not seeing anything that will concern me beyond the normal except for that one hive beetle and unfortunately I won't be checking for any more because the bees are clustered in this general area because the bees are clustered in this general area quite a lot of bees this is about five 
four to five thousand or four to six thousand bees clustered in this general area. I am satisfied that there should be no hive beetles there because it would be very difficult for them to survive in that condition. The bees would uh, enact their mechanisms to trap them and ensure that they do not interfere with the colony. Okay, so I'm putting these back. All right, and uh, I just command these bees to provide an harvest. Need a harvest from you. All right, so get going. Get to work. Get to work now. All right. Yes. All right, so I believe they have all they need to produce. They're pretty much settled. And I think this was a great inspection, okay? So. Right, I think we have an angry bee here. All right, so I'm replacing the queen excluder. Right, trying not to get any bees trapped between the, the wood and the excluder itself. And then I'm gonna replace the honey super, all right? So I lift the honey super, and I place it gently on the top here. In anticipation of when these bees decide to go upstairs all right now one of the observations that I made as I entered this bee yard is that there's not a lot of food here that is the shrubs that are present are not as plenty as in other places that I have, um, I have used and it means that these bees will perhaps try to migrate to more suitable areas. And that's always a concern for beekeepers. This is why we use artificial methods sometimes to feed the bees and to take care of them. All right, so now that I have everything back in place, I'm going to replace the cover. So now that I have everything back in place, I'm going to replace the cover. Well, I continue further inspections. I'm just checking for anything that will identify any potential problems that bees, these bees may be having in this location. All right, so let's replace the cover. Checking again. That's it. All right, so that was a very successful inspection. Let me just apply a, lot, a little smoke. As you, you can see, not much smoke was needed because these bees are pretty much settled. Okay, let's clear the area around the, the hive. Okay. Okay, there we go. Right. Just observing that the queen extruder in its it's in its right place. Properly aligned so that there is no gap. small insects to pass through, okay? So I'm doing a final inspection. All right, so there's a gap right here. And usually that can be solved by just placing a brick on top of the hive so that the weight 
at the top of the hive is sufficient to press and keep things in their place. All right, so uh, before I exit this uh, site, I will be placing a brick on top of this hive to ensure that everything is secure, all right? So there we have it. We have all we need for great honey production, all right? So that's all, folks. Thank you for joining us. This is uh, Dwayne Fuller, your host at Honey Bee Keepers. And there you have it, our fantastic hive inspection journey. I hope you enjoyed exploring the world of honeybees with us today. If you did, please show your support by hitting that like button and sharing this video with fellow bee enthusiasts. Let's spread the love for these incredible pollinators. Before we wrap up, remember to check out our other bee-related content on the channel. We've got hive building tips, honey extraction tutorials, and so much more to keep your beekeeping adventures buzzing along. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care, and remember, let's save the bees!